Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 video. In this one we're going to be going through and looking at the city from the Matrix Awakens demo that Epic Games released a while back and if you've seen that video you'll have seen how good this looks and they've now let us download this project ourselves so we can have a look at it too. So today what I'm going to be doing is just going through it, having a look and just giving my opinion and just really just looking through it to be honest. I've had a brief look at it but not too much so this is also going to be kind of my live reaction to it. So straight off the bat what we can notice is that this map is absolutely massive you can see the world partition down here which again is the new thing in Unreal Engine 5 which I'm very excited to keep looking into and you can see this is what the map looks like how big it is down here and you can also tell that this just does look absolutely amazing this is what's loaded in so far obviously I haven't loaded everything in because my PC would not be able to handle that but this is what it is now playing on this level is very demanding so I probably won't play this one but I will play the smaller level as I can run that one nice and smoothly but we can still fly about in here and have a look at it see how good this looks I'll see if I can simulate it and see how bad that is although it will probably be about the same the reason why I want to simulate it is just because there's a lot more happening when the game is actually running so there's people walking there's cars driving there's noise there's so much more stuff and honestly it just does feel amazing so here we are we are now simulating it you can obviously see it's not great performance at all but you can see the people walking around, the cars driving, the audio in the background, just lots of different stuff. I'll try and move, not sure how well it's going to do. I can kind of move, it's just obviously doesn't look great at all, so I'm going to stop simulating that there. But that's a basic part of it, so we're going to go on the next level in a moment's time where I can't actually properly play that without it looking like that. But let's just continue flying about to see what this looks like. So we've got a lot of details in here. And I think the main part of this level as to why it looks so good is the new lighting system that they're using. So is this just an image as well as we actually stuff in here? No, it's just an image, I thought it might be. There's actually some good depth on that though. That's really good. That's nicely done. So this whole city just feels really good. And again, over there doesn't look that big. It's just sea over there. But this on the wild partition down the right is the actual size of the map. With the little slightly different colour grey boxes around me here that's what's actually loaded in so you can see how big this level actually is and this is the big level in the project there are two there's the big one and the small one the small one is obviously a lot better and easier to run so i'm going to go into that soon again i just want to have a look around here first so there's lots of just small details here let's see is this landscape i imagine road markings so it's a new icon there it's just a normal blueprint i wonder if that's just the decal marking let's have a look or decal icon i should say I go to the viewport. That's no, a root component icon. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, you can really see kind of the ray tracing, the light bouncing off these puddles here, all the reflections. Does look really good. You see the sun over there. Honestly, it looks absolutely amazing. But let's go into the next level so we can actually have a proper play around with it. And that's the small city level here. So we're now in this smaller level, which is pretty much, it's very similar to the other one, just obviously on a smaller scale. So this is what we've got so far. Again, you can see the whole level isn't even loaded yet, but you can see how much smaller it actually is. Still relatively big though. Uh, so this one I am actually just going to play and see what this one's like. So here we are, this one looks pretty good as well. Obviously you can see people actually walking, the car's driving now, and this one's a lot smoother. So let's have a look at the menu. Alright. I'm going to dismiss controls there and we can just have a walk about again you can see all the reflections on the floor absolutely amazing cars driving by people all the ambience as well now this still isn't the smoothest thing let's actually have a look at what frames I'm getting but it's better than the other one stats FPS is that different now? Oh, stats not stats so I'm getting about 25 20 to 30 frames really not the worst could be a lot better though but it also could be a lot worse I believe this car I put in myself, yes I did, so I put in this car that you can drive um, and there is actually some pretty good crash physics as well which I think we did see previously when the actual kind of demo released ages ago that we could just see but this one we can actually drive ourselves, the game has frozen, there we go, so again not the best, I think as I'm driving I'm going pretty quickly so it's having to load and unload stuff quite quick as well which is why it's a bit more laggy while I'm driving so I'm probably not going to drive too much what I might do is just crash into something then get out of the car just quickly turn it around go over here just bring up a quick look and there you go you can see it lagged a bit as I went in but there's some good physics there on that 
Yeah, it just looks really cool, I think. So let me just get back over to where I just was. <laughs> and then get out of the car just to walk about that kind of plaza area where we just were. So as this is already loaded here, it's not too laggy. Let me just get out. I like the animations for getting in and out of the car as well, it's really good. So here we go. So let's just have a good walk about here. And we can fly, but that's not flying the character, that's just flying the camera about as we were before, but obviously in an actual simulated world this time. So let me remove the FPS. There we go. Obviously you can see how much nicer this looks. Let's actually go to full screen. I mean it just it honestly does all look absolutely amazing. And this is just a demo project that they've released for us. There's not really any gameplay here. It's just to walk about, experience the world of the Matrix Awakenings demo that they made ages ago. But all the animations in it look absolutely amazing. I believe these are all meta-human characters. Even the people just walking about, the AIs as well, are also meta-human. Let's just go over here, have a look. Oh, it's a bit laggy. There we go. There you can see, these are all just meta-humans as well, waiting to cross the road. Let me actually fly about in the camera, have a little look about. Let's just fly to see where everything is. Right, can I see my character? No, they've disappeared. Okay. So I wonder if this will actually take my character over there as well. Ooh. Okay, this is <laughs> slightly laggy. This might not be the best thing to watch, I'm very sorry if it's not. But I thought this still might be quite interesting just to have a look about. Because I'm also on a pretty high-end PC, so I can't imagine what this is like on lower-end PCs. So let me just actually stop flying here. Yeah, just take my character there as well. Cool. So I'm noticing the further out from the city center I go, or to where I spawned in anyway, the laggier it gets. Now I don't know whether it's just because it's still keeping that part loaded in while loading in more down here, or whether it's just less optimized, I don't know. But yeah. I just noticed the ambience and the audio, the background they use, isn't really relative to anything, it's just random stuff. So there is audio as cars go past. But there is also just noises for cars driving past when there isn't actually any cars. Which is quite confusing, but, you know, that's only one tiny detail. Let's just continue walking about. What I might do is stop playing this. So, let me just do F11. Stop this. And I might just fly about, because I imagine I could probably fly about in the camera on this one without it actually um, lagging too much. Uh, is this just because I put the car in? Yeah, it is. Because I did actually drag the car into this one. It wasn't here by default, so I imagine they haven't actually properly made it ready for cars to be used. But I thought I'd put it in anyway, just to drive about in the city, see what it's like. So yeah, as I can fly about here, it's not too laggy at all. This actually looks quite good. Uh, but yeah, you can see, obviously, very kind of New York style, I think. I mean, I'm saying that as an English person, but so I don't really know. But it's what it makes me think of anyway. But this all honestly does look really nice. So we can see the world partition down here again. Let me zoom in a bit. So you can see everything loaded in. This actually looks really cool. I haven't properly looked into the world partition system yet, but for the community game that I'm doing, uh, I imagine I'm probably going to be using world partition and data layers quite a lot in that. And if you do want to have a look more into the community game, it's not started just yet. We're still in the planning stages. So if you want to get involved, you can. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Again, especially if you want to learn more about world partition and data layers, that might be quite a good thing to follow along with because it's going to be a system on learning as well, like the game is going to be made by everyone so we can all learn and just have a bit of fun as well. So let's show actors, oh wow, so you can see where all the actors are, that's quite cool. Bug, load cells, show cell chords, focus selection, okay it just does that. So I can focus like that, that's quite cool. If I double click it, it does take me to it. What's all this? This is just random stuff that's not unloaded. Okay, so that might be why it's a bit laggy as well then, if they don't unload static meshes, or some anyway. So they keep all their stuff loaded in, but not the buildings. That's interesting. I wonder why. Well, it's not loaded over here. Hmm, huh, strange. Not too sure why they do that. Let me load this cell, have a look what's over here. And they actually go over there as well. So yeah, it's just more of the city. No, I don't want to load too much of it because that would obviously be quite demanding. So let me just load kind of a section down here by the sea. Let's load selected cells and then go over there, have a look. Alright, so I'm inside a building at the moment, let's get out of there. Okay, 
let's go over here. I want to go by the beach. Or the sea. Why not? It should be a beach. No, it's not. It's like a nice little pier here, though. See, I really wanted to see what the sea looked like with this lighting. Actually, it looks really nice, can't lie. The sun reflecting off of it. All flowing down here. I really do like the ray tracing that they've got on here. I wonder what frame rate I'm getting right now. Let's do start to FPS. So I'm getting about 50 frames at the moment, like this. Well, 40 to 50. If I look over there, if I just go back over here, I'll unload these cells. Like that. So it's quite fun. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to load up the vehicle map so we can just drive about in there, have a proper look at all the cars again without it lagging too much. I believe is here it is, vehicle test map. So we'll play this and we can have a drive about. Dismiss controls again. We can just drive about in here, have a look at all the crash physics. I might have just got that stuck actually. <laughs> Let's get out. Yeah, I've definitely got my stock. Right, well, good job there's a car here then. Can I drive it? I can. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to just go in and drive back out again, but I guess not. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so the character's not animated for turning. But they animated going in and out. I didn't think it was good. But... Let me just go over here as quick as I can. Can I jump out while it's driving? No, I can't. Okay. Let me just bounce right off that. Can I go first person? No. Well, I mean, I, I can set it up, but it's not there by default. Let me put the controls back on. So there's obviously handbrake. It's quite good. Let's go over some. Oh, just a little. Bumps in the ground, I guess. Some slopes. You can just go up and drive off. See what happens. Uh, this car is actually holding up pretty well. So it's quite a big one. Let's see if we can unlodge this car from over here. I think I can also spawn in more. Ooh. That's got to be out shortly. Ah, oh, the grass is the grass. The glass, sorry, is also kind of cracking. Sort of. <laughs> Let's drive. Yeah, there we go. All right. So if I press one, yeah, that's one's a new car. Oh, there's quite a few different cars actually. This does feel nice to drive and control as well. Because sometimes in Unreal Engine 4, the default cars didn't feel great. They had a bit of a weird response and all that, so it didn't feel amazing. This one does actually feel quite responsive, quite good, quite realistic. Ooh, it's quite a nice car. Yeah, I was going to say, this looks fast. It does go quite fast. Okay, so let's see if I can get it to 100 mile an hour and go into that brick wall. Oh. Came to a sudden stop and I'm perfectly fine apparently. Okay, so let's turn around and start going down. I want to see what happens to this physics on it. Collision. Can't reach 100. Only just. Oh, perfectly fine. I lost a lamp, but that's it. I think that's a lamp. Yeah, it is. Not too bad. Oh, I can get a bus. <laughs> okay, I just didn't think I'd be able to get this. Alright. <laughs> okay, this is slow. I mean, as you'd expect. This is, yeah, this isn't going to go well. <laughs> I might have a make up there. No, definitely not. Maybe. No, I'm not going to make that. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I've got it wedged, haven't I? Yeah, let me get a different car. <laughs> okay, 
so let me try going up here. I just kind of want to test out what the different collisions look like on the different vehicles. There doesn't seem to be too much other than with that first default one. I think that's where they put the majority of it on. But we'll see what this one looks like. Yeah, nothing's going to happen really, is it? No. Alright, well, that's quite fun. Uh, let's come out of here. So let's have a look at the different vehicles they've actually got. So yeah, they've got bus, car hero. What's that one? Oh, that might be the character. Or nothing. Driver, yeah. So let's go uh, bones or hierarchy. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I think this is just like the base skeleton of the different vehicles, maybe. I don't know. You have different passengers. AI driver, player. Okay. Interesting. Let's have a look at the gameplay. What's in there? Driving. BP for the car. Entry and exit. Rumble curves. Interface is what they got. Camera fade, rumble, character. Let's have a look. So we've got a sample player character. I imagine this is who we're playing as. Yeah, it is. So yeah, this is meta human stuff. Looks quite good. Populate camera fade. So camera camera fade parameters. Layering. So there's quite a lot of different stuff. Let's just go to the event graph. See what's in here. We've got a camera fade. Uh, audio. Sprinting and intro animation. Oh, is that just when you start the game? Maybe I don't know. Mass agent, LED sync. It's quite a lot of different stuff. I mean, this is just very interesting to look through. So, I mean, if you can manage to download this, I definitely recommend it because it's very interesting just to look at, even if you don't play it like I have been today. You just go through all the different blueprints just to see what they've done and how they've done it. It's very interesting to do. If you do download it and want to play it, I'd recommend going on the small city. But you do still need a fairly good PC to be able to run it, unfortunately. But, I mean, it is a massive, very high production project that they're doing anyway. Obviously, as you can see from the video that they released a couple months ago. But I don't want this video to go on for too long, so I'll probably leave it here. I hope you've enjoyed this, just me going through it, having a little look, seeing what everything's like. I've, I've quite enjoyed doing it, it's been quite fun, I'm definitely going to continue looking at this because again it's very interesting to do and it's just nice to look through all of this different stuff as well. And this is obviously just the very beginning of Immersion 5 as well, there's a lot more to come out and I know I've heard a lot of people complaining that they can't run it, it's not well optimised at all and uh, it might not be at the moment because I think what they've done is they've built it mainly for their systems they've got so as more updates come out I imagine it will become a lot more well optimised and the users will also find different ways of optimizing it for different stuff for their own systems as well. So either way, again, I hope you've enjoyed this video of just going through it. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought and also what you're most excited about for Unreal Engine 5. And so thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one.